order to get at the fuel capsule. We need to is, crack it. Well, we, we either need to drive it out, as Alan would like, and save this already um, no good tube. Or Go for it. Okay. So, uh, intro, this is, the, this is the fuel side. We can see by this little piece here. And we know that this, therefore, is the null side. I intend to snap it just before the fuel capsule. So, somewhere around there. And um, rather than spend a lot of time on it, we'll just go for it. How's that? Excellent. Okay. Okay, so if I may, I'm going to pinch that in the vise and we'll just see how strong it is. I would. Okay. Go on, yeah. yeah. So and, and that's clearly where it failed mm -hmm. because it snapped off clean and yet the crack was hidden. And there's the fuel cell. Mm -hmm. There should be nothing in there. You're saying there's some coating on the inside of it? Yeah. Okay. So this is the fuel capsule with a little bit of um, alumina felt that soaked up uh, molten bits. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like, and then there will be the rod in the end. Mm -hmm. And it, I think I can pull this apart. Yeah, I would tap on that stub a little bit first. It may not be necessary. It's wiggly. Yeah. But I Try twisting right. it. I'm going to uh, crush it. Yeah. It's glued in there pretty good. It sure is. Because of the metal that oozed out of the end and wicked its way down along the tube. Yeah, put that over here. We want to save those shards. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> now you tell them. There's a bit still so left in here. It's glued. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Screwed in tight. There's yep. enough around the thread. And that's where it's stuck to the tube, right there. Yep. This end, there's less stuff on the outside of the tube because the felt wicked it away. Whereas here, it had nowhere to go except alongside the tube. And we'll want a little pan to put under there to catch the pieces mm -hmm. still out. Should there be any? So I'm getting close to the fuel, putting some gloves on. I believe this is going to take a tool to remove. I need to get on the teeth part. Okay, I don't want to crush it any more than I have to. Yeah, it's not going to move. Oh, is it, yeah? Is it moving? Something moved, but it could have been in the vise. Oh. No, nope, I'm getting grains out, so All right. it's coming off. Uh, maybe a little more persuasion. Mm -hmm. so is it turning in the vise or not? No, no. it isn't. Mm -hmm. job, Alan, on the manufacturing of that, and uh, oh, so close. skip on the steady hands. The nice thing is the tube didn't etch through, didn't fail completely. Mm. Still so close. Beautifully made. Okay. 
Okay. Putting that straight into a sample of rifle. And nothing's Hopefully. coming out. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it'll come right off of there. Oh. Sorry. So that little uh, grommet or set screw came out, right? Yep. Just had to so beat it accordingly. Actually see the fuel in there, in there I think. Mm -hmm. Do you want to throw that in the, the vial or? or no, just set it in the bottom there. It's a trade off, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> you make it too tight, you're actually holding well, it in. Well, uh, actually, um, perhaps crushing it might work. Oh, I am getting movement. Alan, would you put the um, would you put the um, the sample bottle over? Or just hold it over. Or would you like some gloves? No. Okay. She's gone free. Should be getting product soon. Now I'm at a hard end. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to get any more. So have I been pushing an alumina 